Ilang ka bulan gani ni Mike? Mag-four months sa karong pizza trace. Eh. So pila man ka bukang gi buhi under it? Bali 15,000. So ang expected harvest ani mga expected ani mga basta mo sobra di mga tutans. Hi guys, it's another beautiful morning once again and you are here back at Dexter's World Channel. And I promise that I, I will stand by you forever. Today we will make a video on how to harvest the milkfish. I can't get you in my mind. And this is owned by my cousins. Uh, shout out to Wilson Honsai and Merlin Honsai, the owner of this very big pen of milkfish. They are expecting to harvest more than 10,000 pieces of this milkfish. And this milkfish is around three or four months old already. And each of them will weigh one half kilo. So that's a lot of money that they're going to earn now. And I'm so excited to share with you the mechanics and to give you the tips on how to operate this kind of business. We will have some sort of an interview with the caretakers of this farm. Guys, we will catch these big shrimps. This is commonly known as lukon here in our place. We will try to catch this one. Wow. This is not the full size yet, but this is very delicious, this shrimps. This is not to be harvested yet because this is very small. Once this will grow big, they will harvest this one. Oh, <laughs> say welcome to Dexter's World. Welcome to Dexter's World. Come on, you swim, 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 go, go. <laughs> And guys, you may wonder, what are these birds doing here in this tank? They know that today is the scheduled harvest for the milkfish. And they are there because they wanted to eat the small fish that are now very visible and very easy for them to catch. So these herons are migratory birds. They came actually from other countries as far as Malaysia, Indonesia, and other neighboring countries here in the Philippines. Come on, herons, fly! Oh, fly! Go to your world! <laughs> <laughs> so guys this is the powder which is called tea seed powder this is very useful during harvest season and they're putting this one in the upper portion of this pen the tendency is as soon as the milk fish will smell this powder they will become dizzy and it's really very easy for them now to be caught guys please be with me now as we are going there and we will witness how they're gonna drive this milk fish this is the higher portion of the pen and they are driving now the fish towards the trap so that they can collect and gather all this milk fish and they are putting the tea seed powder to make the smoke fish a little bit dizzy and easy to gather or collect. So this is what they do. They are using the net and they are going to drive away the smoke fish towards the trap so that they can gather and collect that so easily. And this milk fish now already felt dizzy because of the tea seed powder that they are using. So these guys are now ready to catch all this milk fish. Guys, okay, this is Olani Almain and he is tasked to put some powder 
this tea seed powder at the upper portion of this fish pan and they are actually reducing the water because it's low tide now and the water from here will go to the river maybe one hour after we gonna experience or we gonna witness how this milk fish will be caught So the, this is the exit gate and all the water will pass here going to the river because this time is low tide. They will release the water from the tank going to the river and this milk fish will be gathered and collected down there. And this is the process. You will see that net over there. This is the trap that they prepared for this milk fish. And you look at my friends, they are here. This is Bernadette, the, the one who is <laughs> in charge of the counting of and the weighing of the milk fish. And he's, he's very rich now, she's very Wait. rich. <laughs> no, I <laughs> And my cousin, Ferdinand, the <laughs> national hero. <laughs> The ice will preserve this fish and they will now deliver this to the neighboring municipalities and even neighboring cities and this will be displayed at the market stores and even the department stores, the wet markets. So this is estimated to reach around 2,500 kilos of this milkfish. <laughs> This size, this will weigh four pieces of this to one kilo. And you are selling how much? 85. 85? Very I said cheap. 100. Very cheap. Very cheap. <laughs> I said it's 100, but it's just 85 kilo and less than two dollars. Well, that's very cheap. And they are going to segregate this by sizes. So there is small, medium, and large. So for the large, they will weigh three large to one kilo, and the medium is four maybe to one kilo, and the small ones will reach up to five for one kilo. 
This is a small size. The price is 85. Pag add to na sa market, nanan sa mga 100 to 120 per kilo. Pero naman ta sa punuan, wholesale, 85. Go! Go! So guys, we are here together with Alfred and Alfred is the one who took care of this milk fish. Pila ka bulan gani ni Mai? Ag 4 months sa karong pizza tree. So pila man ka bukang gi buhi under it? Bali 15,000. So ang expected harvest ani mga expected ani mga basta mo sobrang si mga tutans. Pwede ni mo mahatagan og gamay nga information atong mga viewers. Uh, mahitungod sa pag-alaga ani on sa may mga maayong buhaton nga aron mahimong magmalampuson ang ato ang pag fish farm ang pinakaimportante man gud ang preparasyon sa area then ang sa kailangan ang pati ang tempo obserbahan pud ang tempo mm. kay kung halimbawa sige sige pug ulan di dapat dili sa kamong preparasyon nga dili sa kamong live fertilizer pag masayang mm. pag medyo mag-straight lang usa isa ka bisag one week lang mag-straight ang init okay na, na siya kay para maka kuan jud ang fertilizer sa area tas maka mutambok siya mutubo ang lumo. Unsa po mga fertilizer ang magamit nato para sa fish pan? Ang pinaka kuan ang ginagamit namo 1846 tapos a uh, 1620 1414 mo sa urea protein. So unsa purpose ani nga fertilizer para para mas 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 mubaga ang pagkaon sa bangus para wag karon pagkaon. Ah okay. But, Ang bangus ba o milk fish, maayo ba niya business? Maayo yan ni sir, kaya mas dali mo ng bintahan na niya. Kung siya po'y pagkaon sa bangus? Mga lumot lang sir. Ang natural? Oo, oh, natural lang. What, what about pellet? Mga pellet yung mga hatas? Pwede, pwede. Ayan yan. So we will buy 10 kilos and we will avail the, the medium size that is uh, 4 pieces to 1 kilo. We will buy at least uh, 10 kilos. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are new to our channel, I would like to invite you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And for you to be notified of our future upload. We're uploading videos every other day and I hope that you will be interested to be notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching only here at Dexter's World.